Go. All right. I have here my golf ball mortar, and uh, I've got it modified today to launch something a little different than a golf ball. What I am doing is I'm launching a cannon from this cannon. This is a, a little gun that I built earlier, and uh, it shoots a three ounce lead ball. When I was testing it earlier today, I shot it at this uh, log, and uh, I'm not the one that split this log. The, the lead ball went in there and blew it to bits and actually continued on into the snowbank behind it. So this shoots, uh, it shoots that ball pretty fast. And uh, if you've seen uh, my other video, this also shoots things very fast. And uh, I can get a golf ball going up to 1,600 feet per second using this. Uh, and no, I don't know yet how fast I'll be able to send this off. I mean, it, this here weighs a lot more than a golf ball. It weighs one and a half kilograms, whereas a golf ball weighs 45 grams. Uh, this gun weighs 3.8 kilograms. And uh, so what I've got here are these, these little metal tabs you use as brushes. As this gun comes out of this gun, it'll hit those brushes, completing the electrical connection, which will set off a little electrical igniter that I have in the end of this one. Uh, this uh, cardboard tube is just to add length to it because this gun is not as long as that one. And that helps uh, hold it centered in the barrel. And this wire will have it loose. So as it comes out, this will just come over. And hopefully this will this gun will go off just as it's leaving this gun. This way we'll be able to take advantage of the overth effect and uh, fire this gun once it's already moving at a high speed, thus delivering much more energy into this ball than it would otherwise. Essentially what the Oberth effect is doing is as this gun fires and giving kinetic energy to this gun, the gunpowder inside this gun becomes more efficient. And assuming that I can get this gun to fire this gun and uh, at the same speed that this fires it, if I can get double the speed, then I should be able to get quadruple the energy. So, it's, uh, it's getting dark right now, so I'm going to have to cut the video here and uh, should uh, fire it tomorrow morning. Okay. Put the sparkler in the hole. Alright. <clears throat> Got, this is how I've got it set up. I've got uh, a couple of elastics here to help hold the brushes in so they're uh, holding on with more pressure. And I've also added another battery to give it more of a chance of actually setting off the, the fuse inside of there. The fuse is just a little uh, the wire filament just a little, and uh, uh, the, the electrical current heats it up and when it gets hot, it sets off the gunpowder. And uh, I'm figuring it's not going to have very much time in contact with those brushes. And so I went ahead and added another battery. The one battery is more than enough to set it off normally. Right, so I've got it set, aimed at the sky, angled a little bit towards the north, just so I don't destroy the inner gun. Easier to cover. I don't expect to find the metal ball afterwards, but uh, that's not my part of my experiment. What I'm the experiment is to see if the cannon fires as it's being fired from the other cannon. And I'm going to go ahead and light the sparkler. Long 
first one I'm pretty sure will go off. Got a little more powder in there than I normally use. I've lost it. But I've used more than that before. Did it go out again? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, did you get it filmed? Far out of me. The second gun is still falling. All right. Uh, somewhere over there. Somewhere on the other side of the wash. Nice. I wonder if it actually fired. It sounded weird. It <laughs> sounded weird. It sounded louder than I've normally heard. Well, the first gun held. <laughs> it blew those sideways. A long time. I heard a, it land. It shoved it into the ground. Yeah, it, uh, the recoil from it shoved it down into the frozen ground. Wow. Yeah, that was in the air for at least 10 seconds. Oh, a long time. Are you ever going to find that? Yep. I just went off towards where I saw it land. And... Or where you heard it land. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Scared her. Scared you? <laughs> this thing still filming? All right. Yeah, I might need the metal detector, huh? <laughs> yes. You quit talking. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so that land around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. How do I know if it fired though? <laughs> you know, it fired. The fuse is blown. You can see that. It uh, cleared off most of the tape from the launch, but it fired. You can smell burnt powder inside of it. And I can see here on the end of it the uh, I can see burnt powder down inside of it. So it did work. And this thing was going pretty fast when it fired, too. <clears throat> this piece of pipe was in the air for about... I'll have to look back at the video, but it felt like forever. <laughs> <clears throat> that looks like a successful test. One day I may use this method to launch something into space. I'm going to call that the end of the video. Hope it wasn't too bad of filming.